It's going to be a Ferrari, no, maybe Red Bull versus Mercedes. The lights are out. We're racing here in Canada. Good start by the front two. I think it was uh, the second Red Bull. We've got a good start as well. Will to with the Mercedes going towards turn one. But however, P1 is held on to the position. It might be able to be a Red Bull 2-3 though. But as these things, but I think Mateo Mango got a better exit. And he absolutely has. It's going to be double podium for Red Bull through the D-Sync through the bit of lag, and they have managed to make the position. It's going to be Alfonso, followed by Jojo, followed by Mateo, no, followed by Mateo Manga, then Jojo, as the desync fixes itself slowly. The game sorts itself out. Skippy, you, has, does drop a position. He stops down to P4. Raven West, round his tail in P5. Dimitri holds on to P6 as well. We've got a few drivers on the hard screen. Right, Josh is on the hard screen. So he's just been overtaken by Mutt, I believe. Um, making his way past there. Um, so the hard tires aren't really warm just yet. Um, and we're going to see some moves up here for Dimitri on Raven West. Gets that move done up into P5. Mills just opting to stay behind. And I think Keith Robert as well. Oh, a bit of contact the back there. I think that was the bird in Keith Robert, yeah. It is. That's a bit Keith Robert down. That, is, that will be our first safety car. Well, it's only a VSC as well. That was... I believe that was uh, the bird and Keith and Robert who went into the wall there together. And to go to move get caught in that, he did. He's got no wing. And he's got a whole lap to do that no wing with. He's not going to get back into the pits with, uh, uh, through the virtual. And that is horrific news for V-Carb, their only driver on track. Here is Brown, having a look at IBF Flair and the McLaren down into the hairpin. Trying to follow his teammate. Gives him a little bit of a side pod touch there. Still side by side. Those Flair and Master links, they are still side by side and dragging themselves down the straight. I think he's got that move done. So nice move there. We might see him up top, right Josh? Good move by Millard around the outside of oh, White Josh. Those hearts waking up. He needs them to wake up quickly. Here comes Mateo Manga round the inside and way before the chicane. He gets the move done. Takes the lead in the Canadian Grand Prix as it stands. But as I say, he's absolutely still within the fight. Battery on just briefly there. Could he look for a counter attack going towards turn one? Not quite. He's not got the DRS and he's uh, sorted of the chance. Raven West has got back within DRS. Millard has not through his fight for the Alpine. And I think that's Flair trying to get around the outside of turn two. This is going to be close. Who gets the better exit? It's going to be Flair versus the hards on White Josh. I don't know if Yappy's going to win this one. Goes towards turn three. Flair backs out. That's smart. And I think White Josh might have exceeded track limits there in trying to avoid the, uh, the avoid the McLaren. And it looks like we've got a battle for P1 and a battle for P7 there, Snowy. Yep, not too bad at all. Some Ooh. nice moves being made. That was close. Oh, just uh, as I said, that's a massive coast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Somatic Coast, the Lynx, a bit of contact with uh, Bird there going through turn seven. Somatic Coast took it upon himself to uh, make the move, and here comes Roly as well, trying to get on the exit in turn nine. That was close. As they fight towards the hairpin, who's going to be later on the brakes between these two. Still scrapping for the points. Will Roly go for it down the inside? He absolutely will. Very, very tight apex. Uses his car as a wall, and he's been spun round by side effects. And the only asset behind on the grid is sent spinning into the grass as Walter White retains the lead back through before the chicane. Will both Red Bulls burn and look to make it a 1-2? In which case, they'll be able to defend a bit easier. Here comes Mateo Manga with the DRS. He's going to pull to the inside of White. And I think Manga's got the move done and he absolutely has before the chicane. Good move there by the Red Bull. And we see them swap once again. Do we see any more changes? Will Jojo. Red Bull's going to try this. Here he goes. Jojo down the inside of turn one. Will we be able to make it a Red Bull 1-2? Bit of defense for them. Walter White a little bit later on the brakes. That's going to be close. Through down in the inside of turn two. I think Jojo's been sent a bit wide there. Could Skippy you get involved down the inside? It could be a Mercedes 2-3. Skippy trying to get Will to Will going towards turn three. Backs out of it. And that got a little bit close. And any mistakes in Will to Will in this track, and you know the guy behind you will be ready, ready to pounce. Good racing. And there is the first three second we get uh, from the McLaren of Flair, who's currently sat P10. That three second penalty. Not doing well. Oh, it's a Mercedes round. And that's Skippy you. And the Mercedes cheers in the chat will be a little bit more quiet after that. That's wing damage. Missing an end plate on Skippy, who's now dropped down to P13. And I imagine he'll have to pit as well. And that is so unfortunate. I just caught that. He's trying to go still to no race with, with the uh, Williams of, of side effects. And he has managed to hold on to the position. So maybe he is carrying on racing. And I'll just interrupt you very quickly. The top three are going at it still. Okay. Um, I think the Rebels are going to switch over positions here and potentially even may look for it on the straight. Thanks to love it, Jojo. So into P2, Jojo, where he's been sat. And ooh, it's very squirrely on the rear end of Walter White's over grass as well. All that comfortable either. It turns out he actually ghosted ooh. down the straight uh, and went through them. But Raven was clear for a move there going towards turn seven. Or turn oh, it eight. is. <laughs> Here he comes on the exit, going towards turn 10. And he's burning that battery he's got there in time. Dimitri has to set off P5. 
Ferrari slowly cutting his way up, one by one. Um, just a warning update for you. Everyone in the top four, apart oh. from Raven, has won it. And we're seeing here on board, Walter White challenging Jojo down into the first corner. Who's going to have the better brakes? It looks like it's Jojo. He's going to have the optimum line. There's some real banging here. There's a loss of traction as well. Don't know what, the, what he's going to think of that. However, Jojo's still on the inside. Not being given any room, he pulls out of it. Good racing there. It's my opportunity to... Uh, this will give an opportunity to Raven to have a look down the inside. I think it's better off it as White Josh picks up a three-second penalty there. The yeah, it's open for Jojo, who is going to make it a Red Bull 1-2 again. As it gets down the inside of uh, of the Mercedes. And this is really is their star division. Red Bull will be praising these two if they're able to finish where they are right now. As White once again on their tail. Is Raven going to be able to make a move going towards turn one? Way later on the brakes. Down the inside of the Mercedes. Going to be a good scrap. Around the outside of turn two. Can't quite get a wheel there, though. Oh, what a bit, bit of a slip there by Walter White. That's going to allow Raven to have a second try. He is just about axle to axle. But he is going to back out. Turn three. Difficult place to go around the outside for sure. And he's he's felt that. And he's understood. And it's about time we start seeing some drivers come in. The gap at the front has opened up to 1.4 seconds. And we're going to see Walter White down the inside of the other Red Bull. As it gets pushed straight through, I don't think that was meant to happen. Oh! Uh, the pits. Walter's had a massive smash on the wall. That might be a missing wing. It's not. But he has hit the he has hit the wall quite heavily there, and he's had a massive skid. Fortunately, no damage, visible damage anyway. Here we go. Will Dimitri go for it? This is where it's crucial. If he's going to pit now, he may as well go for it and uh, hope that White is going to pit behind him. No battery left on the car, and the Mercedes is very good car positioning, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Here comes the Williams. He does opt to go into the pits. Walter White is going to follow him with a bit of contact as they go in. Oh, and he's spent the tough. pit lane. I, was that's he pushed? Tough. That's not his fault. Was, yeah. Was he, okay, so if he was pushed, it's a removal. Jojo is the lead Red Bull now. That undercut was so strong, it's brought Mateo Manga back into the fight. Uh, Raven West, who's scrapping with Alec. Oh, and Alec just pushed him off the road. And with no wing, and Raven is struggling to hold the car. These two came together many times in China, and it looks like Alex pulling the same kind of driving. And he's just holding him up with that wing damage. And Raven's struggling to find his way past. That's definitely been pen, pen for Alec. He's just pushed him off track. I saw that. That was horrendous. Raven looking around the outside of the hairpin. Was that the right way to go? And Alec puts him into the wall. Uh, I'm not too surprised. That's, that, looks, that looks almost given. And I think Dimitri's going to get through here. It looks like <laughs> Walter White's going to try and go for it as well. It might be three of rest going down the, down the hill. Raven's right in the slipstream of Alec. Here comes Walter White around the outside. He's going to get close. Walter White does get through, and that's a position lost. He's picking up a three-second penalty through it, though. Now will Walter White be able to get through? Versus Alec. How much will Alec defend for this one? Around the outside of turn one, he gets through pretty easily. But uh, he is hell-bent on defending Raven, it seems. These two are not the closest of friends. No, definitely not. It looks like the overcut actually worked. Um in the Alpine's favour. Three seconds the gap now to Mill Way. It's pitted a little bit earlier. Oh. Um, Alec and Raven are still side by side. Yeah, Raven's locked his... He, he's rushing to make the move now. He's locked his front axle and uh, that's allowed Dimitri to get through as well. Here we go. Battery yeah. on for Dimitri. Seems really neat. Yeah, you're right. As uh, Roly still yet to pit. But he is holding on to the Red Bull up ahead. Dimitri gets through past Alec. Raven the struggles continue. Will he go for it here? And he absolutely will go for it here. How much will Alec defend for it? Raven up to the outside line. Late on the brakes. All the way around the outside. And I don't think Alec can do anything about that. Alec was uh, hell-bent on frustrating Raven. Still burning the battery trying to do something here. Going towards turn three. Is he going to be will to will? And he won't be. And into the wall again. And Alec's well, out the That was a big smash into the wall. And, uh, do you know what? This really helps a lot. It does, it does. Rowley's going to be up there as well. He can pit. There comes Jojo again. Down the straight. Rear being open. I guess the move done. Nicely done. We saw drivers in did four pit on lap four. Oh, we're going to go three abreast here. Looks like Burr's going to go for two. Raven gets down the inside of Dimitri. Burr's going to get down the inside of him. Will to will go towards the chicane. Bit of contact. Raven's round. And he has caught it. That's not a, tra a corner you can really go will to will at. And it's still three abreast going towards turn one. Burr's versus... Alexander Wiles down the inside. It's going to be Haas versus Alpine. The Alpine goes around the outside. Great move there by the bird. I think Dimitri's going to go around the outside of Wiles on the exit of turn two. Is he going to be close enough? He's got the battery on, I believe. 
and Wilde holds on to P6. Um, and you could you could see from the onboard of the bird that he was trying to give him enough room. Oh, I've seen that. Damage. What happened there? It's not a straight. As a full safety guard, not surprised. Into Biscuit's Raven. What on earth happened there? Xander Wilde, and I think... Dimitri pulls to the left-hand side to try and overtake, and it just gets cut off. Side wow. effects with the drive through as well. Into the Pisco's race leader, Mateo Manga. This might have ruined his plans. Five seconds ahead of the rest of the pack. No! And, oh, no! Jojo got a point. No! And Jojo's going into the pits, presumably, with a bit of delta left. And that is the Canada glitch. Well, the Canada glitch, I say. It's not really glitch anymore. It's just a thing. You cannot go into the pits in Canada when you have uh, a negative delta, or that will happen. And Jojo has got himself a drive through. And that has changed Red Bull's plans, I'm sure. When will Mateo Manga go? You can see Bird is eager. Despite being on the slowest tyres of the pack, he's eager to get this race resumed. And there we go, green flags racing. We are racing once again in Canada. And Jojo opts to stay out for this lap. He's going to go pushing, trying to get to Bird. No moves going towards turn one. The uh, positions stay the same. We've got Mateo Manga, followed by Bird, followed by Jojo, who does have a drive through penalty. Then Rowley, then Walter White, then Flair. And we've got a fantastic little scrap here. Raven West dropped to eighth. And uh, Dimitri dropped down to 13th, and were originally in this front scrap. Who are we looking at? Oh, we're looking, we're looking at Jojo. Jojo's going for it, trying to get around the outside of the bird, who closes the door in his face. Good defending by the Alpine. That was terrific. And you can see Jojo's trying to get ahead and just back him up. He's going for the team game because he knows his race is probably over with that drive through. As he goes very deep into that corner, does the Mercedes driver. Here comes Jojo. Trying to pull to the inside, gets blocked off, goes to the outside. What can Bird do to defend it? Late on the brakes for the Red Bull. The RP hugging the inside. That was the Red Bull hugging the inside of turn two. Has Jojo got it? Better on the exit. And it absolutely has. Red Bull 1 2 as it stands. Looking at it, down the outside of the hairpin. Maybe close enough. Late on the brakes for the Ferrari. He's going to try and go around the long way. Of the Bird, he's pushed him wide. Walter White trying to go down the inside. Not quite enough room. I think Flair's got a good exit there. He's got past Walter White. What a great exit for the McLaren. Still scrapping, well, I don't think the Mercedes is going to be close enough. And look at that, the order changing in, in strange ways. Here comes Rowling, trying to fit around the outside of the, the chicane. This is going to get a bit close. Into the pits goes, um, goes Jojo, and the drive through is being served. So they picked up a three-second penalty. Here comes Rowley with DRS. Here comes Walter White down the inside. It's going to go three and press, go towards turn one. Very late on the brakes for the Alpine. I think the bird has held on to that. Raven gets around the inside of Flair, and it's going to be Alpine. Mercedes, Ferrari, Ferrari, unless Flair can get down the inside of Raven as he goes towards turn three, you know, he backs out of it. Good racing by all of these drivers. Yeah, a heart in the mouth moment for most of these drivers as we're seeing the two Ferraris, they're getting <coughs> eager on each other and we saw this um, with Alpine yesterday. Uh, yeah. Not yesterday, the day before yesterday. Um, so hopefully we don't see a Ferrari uh, do this, but the gap out front is gained to three seconds here, so his teammate done his job. Here comes Walter White. The exit at turn nine, heading towards the happen once again. He's going to go the long way. He's going to be forced the long way. How much will the bird push him? Walter White trying to get around the outside. Has he got a good enough exit? That's the question. He's going to get DRS as well. I think the Alpine might be in trouble here. Depends whether will one of the Ferraris get him. As Raven looking for his teammate. Walter White trying to get down the inside of Bird. He's absolutely done that. Will Raven be close enough to make a move on the Alpine? Will the Alpine be in trouble here? Not quite. The Ferrari swap at the front two of this train swap. And the McLaren of Flair is just looking up the inside, getting that move done as Raven gets past the Alpine up to P3. The Ferrari driver goes again, another driver without no penalties. Okay, Raven going to get this up though. Battery on, <laughs> rear wing open. We've done that. <laughs> and he's absolutely done it. Will this be able to propel him into a bit closer range to Mateo Manga? The gap is about 3.1 seconds. And we're seeing what a white, Jesus Christ, flying past Raven West. Even before the DRS straight. And they're slowly reading Mateo Manga in. Maybe that's the strat. Down to 2.7 seconds. There's another two tenths narrowed off the lap. Maybe a flare has dropped out of DRS. So it looks like Rowley might get an easy overtake on him. If Rowley does do that, as they're going side by side, down into the last chicane, we learn that two drivers can't go in here side by side. And it's bad on it. So that's what it's in from Flair. And he's going for it. He's realised it needs to burn past. This needs to be a DRS swapping situation. And here he comes, shooting past Walter White. Not quite as early as White got him on the previous couple of laps, but uh, he has got the move done. Oh, a big slip there. That was close. What a catch by Raven. Uh, Mill is scrapping many, many people going on in the background here. I think he got past uh, Xander Wilde. Uh, White's going down the inside. Sorry to interrupt. Go White's gone down the inside at the last minute. And Raven again, twice he's done that. As 
see what you mean. He's lost out two positions. Yeah. And the gap's staying pretty consistent with um with him right now. Oh, there's a crash. That's, that's Skiffy you. Oh, wow. Skiffy you and Wiles. The gap to uh, to Mateo Manga now 3.2 as here comes down the inside Walter White and I think we're just let him have that one. I think Mateo Manga might be in a position to take home this win because the gap is not getting smaller quick enough. Currently, as the race stays where it, how it is, the bird will win uh, by rate of penalty. Oh, let's have a look though. We've got the Ferrari. Bird having to go defensive because the Ferrari is going offensive. Here comes Walter White down the inside. And that was almost a forced move because Raven was right on his tail. And Matei Manga gets the three seconds. And that's it. As they cross the line. What the hell is the situation going to be? Raven up to P2. The bird takes P1 on the final lap. Roll is going to cross the line to take wow. a P5. And that was so close. The bird and Raven with Look a better finish. And one hundredth of a second between the two. Get a flag. And that's... Oh, what's happened there? Was that... Dimitri crashes on the final lap. The World of Champions has taken Dimitri. Oh no, he actually retired on track. The Williams has retired on track on the final lap of the race. So Stigin will be head in hands, I'm sure, after that. Well, that is heartbreak for Mateo Manga, who I don't think he would have won the race anyway. No, he wouldn't. He would have got P3 anyway. Just. So if you take three seconds of his time, he still would have been P3. The top three would have been separated by, th by three hundredths of a second had he not got that penalty. That is ridiculous. Uh, the bird takes the win somehow. That was incredibly close. Raymond takes P2, Mateo Manga P3, Walter White P4, White Josh P5 out of nowhere. Uh, Somatic Coast P6, then Millard, Master Lynx, Rowley, Skipper You, and Flair just outside the top 10 due to his penalties. Get all the results on the screen. V Carb only scoring the amount of points that P12 is, which I think is one, two, three, four, five points. And JoJo does end up scoring points. Xander Wiles, then uh, side effects, Dimitri. Has cost Williams so many points by retiring on his own on the final chicane.